I don't think that was bad, but I probably wouldn't eat a bunch of them. Which is the fact that I'm biting it like this. I just ate it. The train is a really, really popular way to travel, even oftentimes more than a plane, for a couple of reasons. One, because it's cheaper. Two, you don't have to deal with going all the way out to a far off airport. The times are guaranteed, it's fast. It goes like 340 or 345 miles per hour, or kilometers per hour, sorry. And not only that, I actually think, Andrew, this is the best way to connect with more of like, like an average person. On the train ride, we are gonna be ordering everything we possibly can. Everything off the menu, I don't care what it is. And we're gonna rank it. And we are in the economy class. So by the way, this is not maybe even the top level food that they have on the train. This will be the regular food. In Chinese, a train is huochi. Yo, man, this kid is so curious. He's all up in that. He says, hey, mom, 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 let me try to help. Now, I know we just boarded the train, but the most important question right now is how is the food? So we're about to do a Feng Rose food train of Shanghai to Beijing episode right here. Alright guys, we are about to start on our train food extravaganza. Alright, we wanted to start off with the fruit, because you know fruit oftentimes is the appetizer or the dessert, but you know, in, in this, this case, case it was the fruit. And uh, we wanted to get fruits that you could not find in America very easily. So we found the mini bananas, and we found the peeled jackfruit from Thailand. And jackfruit, it kind of smells, so I'm kind of surprised they had it on the train. Yeah, jackfruit. Between the train and the platform, when you get off, there's a little bit Mm, I watch a seed. Always a big fan of jackfruit. Tastes very Asian. Meaty fruit with just the right amount of funk. Mini bananas, hell yeah. Pretty dry. Oh, pretty good though. Tastes different. The Justin, you are, are actually dressed On of all just like the fruit. The You're dressed Thank exactly you. the Welcome. same color as the fruit that we're eating, bro. These are dry flavored tofu. Uh, it's pretty cheap for the pack. It was about three dollars each. This one's spicy, this one's a little bit spicy. So I'm gonna start with the little bit spicy one. Just has different colors. It's probably all the same flavor. It tastes like five spice on sort of like a flavorless piece of spam. Just the fact that I'm biting it like this. I just ate it. Trying the mala flavor. Covered in red oil. Compressed, Compressed gluten. Mmm, well, this one's definitely gluten, bro. If you guys have ever had the fried gluten, like sometimes you eat it with your kanji and stuff like that, that's not too hot, but it's definitely got a kick. That was good. I'm gonna eat the rest of this. Mm. Mala gluten, good to go. Give it a four out of five. What do you give the first one, the tofu? I bet a two. I knew you were gonna say two. I knew it. I knew you was gonna say two. It felt like a two. This is the 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 This Beef mushroom stew. Mm. Mushrooms are actually really good. That beef is super tender. Look at this. So far, this tastes like like pretty above average Chinese airline food. Look at these shrimps. Look how beautiful those are. Normally, you wouldn't want to eat shrimp on a train. Beef? Actually, the beef, I gotta give it a four out of five, and the shrimp, I actually give it a 3.5 out of five, too. Beef stew, four out of five. So the shrimp, I give it a. 2.5 Here's what happened with the chicken. So she gave us gloves to eat the chicken with because the chicken is piping hot right now. Oh, right. oh this is so weird. That was so tender. Braised chicken on a train. Very tender, juicy. A little bit smoky. Look at that. Oh my goodness. I give this a solid three and a half out of five. Huge points for just serving it. There's nothing really bad about it. 
but it's not amazing. Right. Three out of five. This right here, we got chicken wings right there. Is, it, is this eggplant? It's gotta be. Oh, hell yes. Let me try it. It's eggplant. Hell yeah. Stew chicken. chicken. A little fishy. I mean, it has like a little seafood flavor, I think, to it. 1.5 out of 5. After having that beef in that chicken, I gotta give this like a, a, a two and a half. Yo, I have secured the bag. David, it was a journey, man, I'm telling you. So I asked the lady if I could buy something. She said, no, you gotta go back there. And there's this whole little shop. I got this fainil. Fainil, fine. This is like fatty beef. Oh my gosh, David. Wow. This might be the Zion. Do you, bro? Enoki's are. This is not your average train food. Looks pretty good. Flavor wise, that is on point. So the word ma la is actually two types of spice. This is where you get the ma from. This is the peppercorn. This is the regular spice, you know, the chili pepper that everybody knows. So together, these create mala. Here's what I would say keeps it from being a restaurant level thing. I think it's a little too oily. The beef quality is strizzy. I give this a 3.5 out of 5. Give it a 4 out of 5. I think uh, Justin would like it, and I actually really think Morton over there would like it. Try this uh, chicken mushroom soup. So what I had to do, David, was it all came dried, right? And I had to empty it into a pack, and then I had to go to the hot water dispenser. I would say that this is actually pretty solid. I'm really enjoying this flavor, because I do think there's a chicken essence in there, as long as the mushrooms. Chicken and mushroom, great combination, creates a lot of umami. I give that a 4 out of 5. Here we have, correct me if I'm wrong, David, because there is a picture of a sweet potato. I'm assuming this is a chocolate covered sweet potato pastry puff. Chocolate. Mmm. Tastes pretty European. Mmm. 3.5 out of 5. 3 out of 5. I'm not gonna lie. Better. I actually really wish there was just cup of noodles. I thought there could have been higher quality, lower end foods, but what we ended up getting were actually some fancy foods that I thought were executed just okay. People must prefer fancy, worse versions of fancier food as opposed to elevated versions of simple food like an instant ramen. The train food impressed me. It's higher quality than I thought. Um, it's overall better than I thought. And they're, Chinese trying to, and they're trying to do fancier dishes. Yo, I was impressed, man. Chinese trains are coming up. You used to be able to see the train tracks from where you were taking a dump back in the day. I'm glad they updated since 12 years ago, man. All right, everybody, that is it for the Chinese train portion of this video. The next thing that we're gonna be eating is the food off of a plane. They did serve definitely some dishes I didn't expect, so shout out to the train, it's getting better, but onto the plane. All right, so we had just ate train food. Now it's time to try the plane food. Alright guys, so we are on the plane, we are headed back to Seattle, and then we'll head back to LA. We're about to try the food. They have three options. Herb chicken, penne pasta, stir fried beef. We're about to get all three. Created by award-winning chef, Jareen Ler. Let's go see how this food compares to the food that we had on the train going from Shanghai to Beijing. We're gonna have all three of these. Uh, this one's a little 
heavier than the rest of them. Oh, this is the stir-fried beef with bell peppers and mushrooms and broccoli. So I would compare this to the uh, beef stew dish that we had on the train. Actually, I'm not gonna lie, it actually looks extremely similar. It may even be based off of a similar recipe. A bit of beef, got a little pepper in there. Here's how I would sum it up. Airplane food is designed for broad range of palates. It's definitely lighter in taste, um, but it tastes a little bit cleaner. But overall, of course, if you're just basing it on flavor, I would say food in China on the Chinese train was overall more flavorful. And another point is that we're flying Delta, which is not like a Chinese airline. So if we're flying maybe like China Air or Hong Kong Airlines or any other airline, Singapore Air, the recipes would probably be a little bit different. They would probably be a little bit more Asian. And out of these three, my favorite dish, to be honest, was a stir fry of beef with bell peppers, broccoli, and mushrooms. All right, that pretty much wraps up our Shanghai and Beijing trip. Thank you so much for watching. Um, make sure you click subscribe, uh, turn on your notifications, leave a comment down below if you guys have either taken the train in Asia and had the food on it, or uh, thanks for watching. And until next time, we out. Peace. Turkey cheese. All right, so for a uh, so for a after dinner snack, they got us the turkey and cheese croissant. So this definitely doesn't look very good. It's kind of mashed up, but it's melted.